Hello, you're watching Dansky, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a paint marbling effect in Photoshop. Also, just to let you know that I launched my first font design recently, and it's now available at the link in the description. Okie dokie, so of course we're going to start by creating a new document. I'm going to be working with 1920 by 1080 pixels as the size. Create a new layer, go over to the color picker, click and pick a nice bright color. I'm gonna go with red, click OK, select the brush tool. Now you need some brushes. Paid and free brushes will be linked in the video description if you'd like to follow along. I have this set here from Envato Elements, so I'm just going to open this, and you can see I've got lots of lovely paint brushes. So I can just click to stamp that there. You can adjust the size with the left or right square brackets, and you can also stamp multiple times for a richer color. Next, we're going to add another new layer, select the brush tool again, and pick a slightly different color. I'm gonna go for orange, and I'm actually going to go and pick a different brush as well. Let's get creative and make this interesting. Ooh, let's be honest, that looks really good. So we're just gonna repeat that process and just layer this up with a few different brush effects to make it interesting. Once you're happy with your creation, hold Shift and select all of the layers, press Command or Control E to merge, and then add a new Levels Adjustment layer. We can then adjust the levels, the shadows, midtones, and highlights for our image, and then re-merge that if we like. We can then double click the background layer, right click and convert this to a smart object, go to filter and down to liquify. We can then use the warp tool together with varying brush sizes to introduce a little bit of directional flow into our image. There's also other tools like twirl, pucker and bloat, so go crazy and have fun. Ooh, gooey. So once you're happy, click OK. Now because it's a smart filter, we can turn it off, on, we can edit it, delete it, but we can also go up to edit, down to free transform and just scale this up just so it covers the entire canvas. Again, let's go to filter, distort. Now we're going to select wave. We can adjust these sliders and see a preview in real time. And when you're happy, go ahead and click OK. This will be applied as another smart filter. Now we can then go and turn these off and on in turn to see how each of these smart filters affects our image. Next, we're going to go and add a new adjustment layer. This will be a gradient and you can click on the color picker. You can either select one of the presets or you can create your own gradient, it's entirely up to you. Once you're happy, click on OK and then change the blending mode to something that you like. And in this case, I'm gonna go with uh, exclusion. Now you can adjust things like opacity if you like, but in this example, well, it does look kind of terrible. So I'm gonna leave that up, but I will add a new adjustment layer for levels. So I'm gonna use this just to brighten up the image and adjust the color ever so slightly. There we go, much better. Now the beauty of using smart objects is that I can, well, let's just rename this first, oh, good practice. We can double click on the thumbnail, go inside. I could add more paint effects, make changes, save and close, and those changes are then updated in the main document. And there we go. So this is just one of many ways that you can create a paint marbling effect in Photoshop. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Take care, and I'll see you next time.